In the past, TV and cinema were the main ways children used to watch audiovisual content. But nowadays, there are many more options, like computers, tablets, and smartphones. Audiovisual is an area in which the European Union is currently working on legislative reform. So MEPs met in the European Parliament in Brussels to discuss how to protect children from the dangers of this digital world of ours. MEP Anna Maria Carazza Bilt, the co-chair of the first intergroup on children's rights in the European Parliament, explained more. What well, today event is really a call of action to the member states and the industry to do more, to upgrade our common tools, to protect and empower children online. Children are faced with violence, crime, sexual abuse, pornography, and also are vulnerable consumers with profiling and direct advertising. The EPP group will continue to be committed to protect children online. Ms. Corazza Bild also explained how a new audiovisual services directive could help protect children. We have been future proof because now service on demand, video on demand, video that children themselves publish, are taking over compared to the traditional broadcasting. And it's very important to strike a right balance between protecting minors empowering them, not patronizing, and, uh, and respecting freedom of expression and freedom of the media. Protecting children in a digital environment is a subject that IC Media, a Spanish federation of consumers associations and media users, is working on. Its president, José Luis Colas, gave his view on what the EU could do here. What we pedimos al Parliament Europeo is that legisle un poco decir, vamos a decir, con más, sea más exigente en la protección a la infancia. O sea, lo que pedimos es que la legislación, que luego se va a transponer en todos los países, sea exigente. Si no se hace en el Parlamento Europeo, luego en cada país tenemos que ir pidiendo a los parlamentos que introduzcan. Si se hace una vez, si la, el Parlamento Europeo introduce una protección a la infancia, luego es muy fácil replicarlo en todos los parlamentos nacionales. MEP Santiago Fisas, who moderated a debate on early education in the digital society, explained more about that. Yo creo que la educación es muy importante, pero no solamente la educación de los niños, es muy importante la educación de los padres y la educación de los profesores. Yo creo que es un riesgo, por ejemplo, que los padres dejen utilizar pues, su tableta o su teléfono móvil a los niños eh, sin ningún tipo de control y creo que es muy importante esta educación que pueda haber hacia los padres y hacia los profesores porque al final son ellos los que tienen que controlar de una cierta manera eh, cuáles son son los contenidos que los niños pueden ver o no ver. The reform of the audiovisual services directive is a golden opportunity to ensure that children are better protected in the digital world. Discussions on the directive will continue in the coming weeks and months. Find out more about the largest political force in the European Parliament by checking out eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you next time.